Hi folks, Starker here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to map your APC20 with Logic Pro. I've got the controller on. First thing we're going to do is run Logic Pro. Now, what you want to do is run a new project. So it could be whichever collection you choose. It doesn't really matter as long as it's an empty project. So we're going to uh, I'll do compose empty project, and then it will ask you how many tracks you want um, I'm gonna start with the assignment of the faders so eight faders here so we're going to say for example eight tracks and we've got eight tracks I'm gonna leave everything the way it is it's up to you regarding what you have connected output the same and I'm gonna type create there we go we've got our eight tracks right there created with a plug-in EVP there and the other section you've got your library right there so to begin with, we want to make sure that signal is being transmitted between the controller and Logic Pro. So we want to make sure both ends are listening to each other. So in order to do that, we have to go into Preferences, go into MIDI. You'll be presented with this screen here. Now what you want to do is go right here at the very end, MIDI Sync. Now you'll get this screen right here. This particular screen here pretty much is where you put on the signal being transmitted between your controllers to your um, to Logic Pro. So what you want to do is highlight that on and that will show you all the controllers you have connected via USB. We want to do to all of them. And then right underneath you've got MIDI time code. We want to also put these on to transmit again to all of them we want to transmit the machine control and we also want to listen to the inputs as well so once these are selected if you're having a problem and nothing seems to be working between your software and your hardware it's most likely because that particular option here is not on so always make sure right here in this section all of these are highlighted on once you've done that then you could easily just go ahead and shut them down. Now I'm going to open the mixer up. So we've got eight channels right there highlighted. And now what you want to do is go back up to preferences and just click on preferences. Now we want to go to controller assignments. Click on that, it will give you this. Uh, particularly screen right here it's on expert mode easy mode it's up to you but I prefer expert mode you've got a no zone area in this zone here you add the controller um, the controllers name so I'm gonna go down here I'm going to add a new zone and that's I'm going to call it APC 20 test there we go, I'm going to press enter, it's an APC and then next to it you've got a mode so this one is a particular control surface so is it favors that you want to control in here? What, what kind of control services do you want? Do you want the faders? Do you want the uh, knobs? You name it. So on here I'm going to go right down to the plus same thing again it will be like that but you want to go into the new mode double tap that and let's put we want to control faders 1 for example enter and then right here you've got a controller control and a parameter and then it's all blank so what you want to do now is go to where it says the learn mode click the learn mode and once you click that learn mode I don't know if you see it will highlight in grey so it will be highlighted in grey the learn mode and then you'll be accompanied by all of these certain options right here at the moment and right here you've got where it says control it's waiting for you to assign some form of control on your controller to be for the parameter of pan we're not going to do that right now so what we're going to do because it's on learn mode you've got to be careful when it's on learn mode because anything that you touch will automatically be assigned 
So what we want to do is we want to control the fader one. So we'll tap on here on that one. We've tapped on that control here. And right here, it's red. We want to the parameter to be the volume. We want it to be for fader bank one. So that's what we're saying. And then on the control area, it's waiting for us to assign something. So what I'm going to do is go back onto my APC and I'm going to move that up and down like so. And if you look right here, it's actually controlling that fader one. And if I go back onto here, it's learnt that specific control for the volume. Now, all you've got to do is just continue. So we're going to click on this one here, go back on here, it's, it's got another one. So it's first section it's learned, now it's waiting on the second one. And if you go here, it will indicate fader bank two. Same process again, moving the second faders. And if you go back here, second fader is being learned. So I'm going to carry that on that process. Tap on the third one, back here, it's waiting. Third. Right, so I've assigned all the eight faders, for the exception of the master, I've left that for a reason, but let's have a look right here, going right there, you could see every fader is assigned with your APC, and they're pretty much going right for everything right there. Now, I've left the master fader for a particular reason. Now, the master fader... Let's just say we want to use that to control both the output and the master level. We don't want it to be in a certain mode. We want it to be on no mode. So click on no mode and in no mode there's nothing there. No mode, whatever you put in no mode is a global control that is always available for you to use. So we want to select no mode. We want to go into learn mode. It's picked up the learning mode, typical options there. And then we want to use our mouse to click on the output level. That's clicked there. There it is there. And we're going to move our fader up and down. We're going to also let's just move the fader up and down here just to make sure. We're going to also click on the master. We want to also go up and down with the master. Right here, it will demonstrate, it will show you a master level. What we're going to do is finish that off. So, in order to finish that off, we're going to click the learn one. Once you click that learn one button, you will get this message there. That's because you've got two assigned controls with one parameter here on your controller. So, that one function there is controlling both the output and the master. So that's conflicting and you've got the option there to reassign it or to keep both of them exactly the same. What I'm going to do is just say keep both. So learning mode is taken off. When it's off like that it means all the assignments are done. And let's see we've got that one highlighted there that's for the master. And the second one highlighted here will be for the output. So by moving the, that here we are controlling both the master and the output levels so that's automatically assigned there and the reason why we haven't put it on the faders one because these are control services section so if I was to go down and I was to press plus here we've got another mode and I'm going to put that to just bear with me faders two so I've put that to faders two right there so fader two mode and there's nothing in the fader two mode so let me just make sure it's uh, there we go, faders two. So you've already seen I've assigned the first three. By moving the first three, if you look here, they're not moving. Nothing is moving whatsoever at all. Because in favor mode two, there's nothing assigned. All it will do, because at the moment you have it highlighted in green here. Whatever controls you move, look, I'm moving those three, and yet it's just moving that one there. That's because in the MIDI control in the beginning, 
I put on to always read transmitted messages between the controller to your software. So every time I move something, it's just going to transmit a form of MIDI um, signal to it till you assign these. So in mode, in the mode section, that is perfect if you have more than eight channels. You've got eight channels going up to 16, going up to 24. And then you could assign it equivalently to what you want here. But if I was to go into favor one, where I've got assignments there, and I was to move those same three controls, then if you look right here, it's actually controlling those. So that's it for now. That's the basic of those. Uh, second video part, I'm going to show how we're going to use the transport controls and other form of controls here that you want to assign. So just bear with me. I, I have been busy, so I'll get to it as fast as I possibly can, um, hopefully today. Cheers.